All right. Uh, for that little thing, uh, um, Mo SOS. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Your name there, but um, was asking about the force quit in uh, OS 10. It's pretty cool. Like, uh, let's say, uh, let's pick on. What program do we want to pick on? The HP Device Manager. Let's open that hunk of junk. <clears throat> There's two ways you can do a force quit. You can do a option click on a program. Control option click, I mean, for the right click. And you'll have a force quit on that particular program. That's one way of doing a force quit. That just shuts it down. It says, don't be nice, just get out of there, close. Uh, as you can see, if you have the option down, the option changes from quit to force quit. Um, if you got a program that's misbehaving in the background, uh, you can do... Here's, here's one of those great Macintosh keyboard shortcuts now. Try, try doing this. Uh, Apple, Control, Q, uh, Option, Q, Escape. Apple, Option, Q, Escape. Hit all four of those at the same time and you get the force quit applications. And yeah, it's, it's you can't do it with just one hand. I mean, it's it, just try it. It's, it's like impossible. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Um, but it actually will pop up here and you can do a force quit on whatever program. Um, Finder is the one that you can't just quit it. You can only relaunch it. All the other ones you'll see will have the option to force quit. But Finder, you just relaunch it. <clears throat> and select it, force quit. Are you really sure? Yeah. So that's a nice little keyboard shortcut for that. Um, of course, you know about the... Uh, copy and paste, uh, Apple V, Apple C, Apple X, um, pretty much the same thing as Windows, uh, instead of control you use Apple, <clears throat> then you got um, Apple Q, just a normal quit, Let's see what's another good one? Oh yeah, if you're in uh, Firefox, because who uses Safari? I, I don't know. I'd like to meet somebody who actually uses Safari all the time. Um, let's go to google.com, and then we go to test. If you want to navigate back and forth, you just hold down the Apple, and you got the left and right bracket. You can go back and forward without having to do the whole mouse click I went back one too many obviously but uh, <clears throat> that's a nice little shortcut I like to use that one a lot um, you have Apple L for the location bar so you can just start typing in there and I have to type back in um, Apple R to reload the page wish I just used the F5 from Windows but I can understand it. They gotta be a little different. <clears throat> oh, you do use Safari. That's that's it's kinda like a first of everybody I've ever talked to with a Mac like, oh yeah, I use Firefox. Firefox is great. Safari I just find it has so many page issues. So many browsers say it doesn't work with Safari and just said heck with it. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah, I might as well go ahead and cover that in this one too. There's this crazy little Mac so that everybody can see this later and laugh at it. Uh kind of a little extra on this video uh, go to bookmarks go all the way down here 
Apparently there's this quick way website. Uh, M-O-S-O-S Moses uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, your name, but Moses. So that's what I'm calling you now. <laughs> um, found this here and sent the link in the chat. And um, at first we thought this was like a Mac virtual machine or VNC or something because it, it's got this VPN and you got VMAC. I'm like, what, what is this thing? Well, it started up virtual Mac. You kind of don't think about it a little bit. You just kind of go, oh, it's a, it's a program that just opened up. And then you hit, you know, net user. Because it's the only thing you can go in. At this time, you may try Firefox. Test one, two, three. Well, we like Safari, right? Well, click Safari. Whoa, what happened here? It takes us to this crazy looking web page that's broken. What's up with that? Well, before it wasn't doing it, it actually worked. Um, you'd click on Safari and just take you back to the screen. You'd hit the Firefox, and you know, this time it actually worked. <clears throat> and you couldn't even really tell. You got this weird logout thing up here, and you got all this stuff. You do a test. It actually looks like it's kind of a Mac, but it's it's not. It's just HTML code. View page source. Boom. Busted. <clears throat> Didn't find out for like what five ten minutes. We're just sitting here. Oh, this is cool. And then, yeah, it's just a HTML page. So feel free to look at this crazy thing. It's uh, quickway.com vpmc.asp. And I don't know what this question mark VNC92 is supposed to represent. What if we put in 93? Apparently you can put any number in here you want it. It, it works. I don't know. It's weird, but avoid their web page. It's 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 bad. It's it's really 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 bad. I don't know what they're about. What they do. Uh, all I know is they were on MSN.com one hour ago, and that they've had twenty five thousand views. That's. The shows have the links don't work. I don't want to rag on them, but I'll just leave that as it. Quickway.com slash uh, what was it? V VPMNC. I'll put a link in that later. 